to the gym last night and then when I got home I was trying to like get everything ready for um for a freaking beauty con today <laughs> and I gotta do my makeup and also I just could not wake up this morning I literally snoozed my alarm for like two hours I was trying to wake up at five o'clock so I could hurry up and leave at literally eight o'clock on the dot but that did not end up happening when I tell you guys I was tired I was too too tired like normally I'm more determined and I'll be like wake up and I'll just get up and nah. I was just I was really tired today I just took a shower and I try to brush my hair so I can look cute on camera but I actually have to flat iron it so good because I'm gonna make sure I get there because I'm trying to get there for um so I can pretty much resolve this whole wristband situation and the girl that sold me the tickets she was supposed to send me the wristbands because the problem is that I can't get in without the wristbands. I don't know. But like, yeah, so I can't get out, get in without the wristbands. So I have to go there and try to see if they can give me the wristbands without me ask, I mean, without me giving them her credit card information and without using her ID. And like, I understand because I wouldn't want to give anybody my credit card and ID. Yeah, so that's a dilemma I'm going through right now. I'm hoping that they just let me in and I'm hoping that they still give me brand new wristbands because I have no idea where she sent me, like where she sent my stuff to. But um, but thank you for the ticket, by the way. If you ever end up watching this, thank you so much. Literally, I've checked and I literally have no package, like no package whatsoever. So I'm really frustrated with that. But I'm going to hurry up and get ready and do my... Um, my hair and my makeup and then we about to be outie my alarm is ringing all right we outie y'all we outie 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 <laughs> you real quick of course <laughs> hi uh, how are you i'm good this is my channel simply chevy if you ever see it hello hello <laughs> thank you please so i'm just so annoyed because it's like all this going around oh my god that was interesting so who else could i be meeting though you know since all the talents are there like damn they should have put me on the list to be a talent, but nah, let me stop. I'm not there yet. Hopefully next year I could be on the list. So this is what we got. I got an apostle. 
Impossible Burger. She got some chicken tenders and fries that don't even look like fries. I feel like I'm on a lunch break in school, or like we just went on a field trip and we're just getting lunch. Yeah, so my sister loves you. Can you quickly say hi to Tiandra? Hi, Tiandra. Love you. <laughs> Guys, that is, this is mad stuff. This is too much. Okay, guys. It's not long. Freaking long, man. I didn't even want to wake up this morning. Um, I don't know. It wasn't enough for it. Hmm. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I felt like she kept looking sad the whole time, so I kept looking at her just to check. Mm, yeah, and I figured that too, cause I'm tired. Too. I went to sleep at like around two, three o'clock. I did too, but I didn't come until one. Yeah. I'm about to get Starbucks right now. You look like you need a drink. <laughs> You was cranky the whole week. Cranky, crazy. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah. And maybe we also didn't know like what we was like getting into. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe because it's two day now, it changed. I think that was just what made it worse. Like, I feel like if we was able to get on all the lines and like see what it was. I feel like we should have been able to skip the line. <laughs> the seat situation. Because I knew you didn't want to sit there. And I didn't want you to sit there either. But I knew so, me. Here's what really got me to tell you. It's the fact that she's like, oh, I don't want to move because I'm not blocking. Like, bitch, you're so blocking people. There's the whole row behind you fucking food. You're going to block like this. Like, and either way, there, she's blocking the person sitting next to her you from seeing the whole entire main show but to me was dumb like i'm asking you to move over like don't give me no excuse like just move over or just say fucking no i'm a dumb ass excuse but it's not like it was that much to move over if that makes sense like she all she had to do was literally just go in the next Her chair I was confused what she was saying. I was confused. She was like, oh, we were just hogging the seat for no reason. Then she keeps the hogging the seat. Why did she get back? But why doesn't she move down? That's that's what I was confused with what she was saying. We had to do was just move over to the seat. Like you are taking up half of a seat for no reason. You're taking up a, a, a seat and a half for what? For what? Like, and you're mad tall. It's not like you cannot see anything if you move over. That's scary. I hate escalators at home. They're mad high. You said what? Looks like we're going to our death. I know.
Okay, guys, so this is what I'm eating. Some type of vegan food, I guess. Anyways, it's just pineapples, mushrooms, corn, guacamole, and then some fries. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm eating. Some type of vegan food, I guess. Anyways, it's just pineapples, mushrooms, corn, guacamole, and sweet potatoes, cilantro, and rice. That's really it. And yeah, so right now I'm just sitting by myself because Jasmine left me. And yeah, and I'm just eating. She went to work. And party is coming on. In about an hour. So I'm gonna get to my seat to mess with my vlog later after I finish eating. So. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of my Beautycon experience. My shirt because it is malfunctioning. Um, like it's such a cute shirt, but it wants to keep on doing whatever. So we're just gonna let it do its own thing. Overall, Beautycon was okay. It was cool, but it's not what I expected. I expected Beautycon to be more about like, I guess the beauty culture but it really felt more like a social event an event to socialize with beauty influencers if you got to see them and also celebrities if they were there and i think that one of the most like highlighted parts about beautycon was the fact that we got to like see people on the main stage um i really did love the panels i loved the panel with Issa Rae, Regina Hall, and Marseille for the little movie, and they're so awesome for that movie. Like, thank you, Mars Marseille. Thank you for that movie. And Yara Shahidi, I love Yara Shahidi. I love her in general. She's amazing. She is really motivational, and she's like the definite the definition of an influencer. Cardi B came today. When we first got there, first off, we didn't even know where the holler bag place was. We just kept looking for it and then we just so happened to find it. So um, I really looked into the bags as soon as I got home and I was just like, wow. We just spent the whole entire day going on these lines, checking what they have. I was just like, there was no point in that because these were basically stuff that the that the brands were giving out already like we didn't have to do that we basically paid for what they were giving out if that made sense damn like <laughs> that sucks the problem was that we were so focused on like going on the lines trying to figure out what to do that we didn't get to necessarily have fun definitely if i especially if i get the holler package i would just get the holler package and focus on whatever fun thing. there was like more like areas where you can literally just have fun if that makes sense like yeah pictures are cool but it was just like at the same time it's kind of hard because you have all of these lines and it's like okay I'm on the line to do what like you don't know what what you're necessarily getting out of being on the line besides just going to the brands and buying a product. Fashion Nova was also cool because I got to take a picture and I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> the picture that I had. I'm sorry, I was not really smiling because I was trying to figure out um, when she was about to take the picture, but it's like pretty much you get a free bodysuit or a fanny pack if you tag them in a post and so that's what I did. My bag is huge. I'm gonna show you guys it. Oh, this is my hauler bag you don't necessarily need to go to beautycon for both days like literally all you need to do is go to beautycon for one day and i would say that it's good to have two days in case like there are certain things that you missed out on that you didn't get to do videos will become i mean i like that they also had like the main stage and they had a stage for like showing tutorials i think that was cool um like i wanted this to be i guess more like convention convention like it would be cool if they made it more like a beauty museum like or something like that so like the whole ticket situation is what made it even more complicated because there's the general admissions then there's the vip then i mean then there's the hauler and then there's the 
all access well like i definitely got to see people um i got to meet Aaliyah j and i met her a long time ago like when i was a sophomore in high school and we got to take a picture i saw her um in a store and she's so nice like i love her and it's crazy because she remembered me today of course but activities are what make it front what makes it fun being on the lines is what drags it and also if you don't feel like you're getting your money's worth because just like you've been on lines all day and you didn't really get to you know do stuff like you didn't really get to go on the main stage so that's that make sure that you dress comfortable um because you're gonna be walking around you don't know if you're gonna be cold and like i know you want to look cute but also be comfortable there's a whole lot of walking around a whole lot of people there um so that's make sure that you come on time another thing i think that what really took away my experience is that i was having so much problems with like little stuff like for instance um my wristband it didn't come in the mail i bought my ticket from someone and she sent it to me and i never received it and comment down below what you guys want to see next um don't forget to like comment share if you guys enjoyed this video I love you guys. Peace out. Later.